children in friction lesson some important questions are there like explain why objects moving in a fluids must have the special space or special shapes see why this type of questions are they are asking because it's all depends on the word drag okay so let us know about this answers see some of them they will say that objects moving in the fluid space the friction of fluid that opposes their motion so the objects moving in fluids must have the unique shapes called streamlined shape to reduce the fluid friction therefore the special shapes are dragged to minimize the shape or minimize the opposite frictional forces yes that means that the objects which are moving on a fluids that means in air and in a water they have some special shape that means that shape special shape or a unique shapes is called as a streamlined streamlined shapes so and also sometimes you can also write, write the answer like this moving objects in a fluid must have special shape because the drag force or the friction force depends on the shape of the object the special shapes are designed to minimize the opposing the frictional forces this answer also in this way also you can write the answer for this question but both are giving the same meaning let us know about this shape which is called as a streamlined shape okay look at this so in this picture the fluid friction first of all we should learn what is fluid friction is it is a kind of friction that occurs in fluids fluids means the combined with the liquids and gaseous are commonly called as a fluids that are moving relative to e each other air resistance is type of a fluid friction so you can see both the pictures which is the aeroplane picture the flying aeroplane picture bird flying in the sky and the person is swimming in the water so these are this helps to know that how the resistivity is happening in the fluid and that friction is called as a the fluid friction yes i told that already you come to know that air resistance see you are seeing the different shape of an objects one is in spherical shape and that means sphere and air fell you yeah, you might have seen that uh, the wings of the aeroplane no? that one and the square slab see here when you observe the motion of a air the direction of the arrow mark we feel that the object shape of the object and the size will also leads to the the friction that means in the air fell we can air foil you can observe that the friction between that object and the air is minimized okay that means less friction is present so due to this only we are observing this type of shapes in the wings of the aeroplane okay yes here you can see observe streamlined shape so first one is non streamlined shape and second one is the streamlined shape see if we have seen this type of shape we can say that this is a streamlined shape which helps the objects to move in a fluid easily due to this shape only the, there is will be a less restriction that means friction we can observe yes boat shape is there so you can observe like that why the shape of the boat is like that because it helps to lessen the friction that means it helps in the motion of an object without any friction okay yes in aeroplane and then also in fish in water and the flying bird in the sky these are all having a streamlined shaped body so why they are having this type of shapes because to reduce the friction which is going to be affected by the fluids fluid means by air 
or by water okay i hope you have understood about the these fluids and the friction happening in that one okay let us recall the things and with the figure let us understand what is the static friction sliding friction and a rolling friction how the force is acting and the how the friction is working in these situations okay so by observing this you can understand in a better manner about the types of the friction yes sliding see you can see the more the slowly it is moving towards the downward direction in the second example static friction there is no motion at all and the rolling rolling friction yes it is moving so you can observe that and in the left picture we tell us to know that what is the direction of a force and what is the direction of a gravity and what is the direction of a friction and what is the direction of a motion if you understand in a perfect manner you can understand that the sliding motion is having a less friction than the that means uh, lengthy rolling friction okay yes see and also you how have you have seen a one question in exercise suppose you are writing your writing desk is tilted a little a book kept on it starts sliding down show the direction of friction force acting on it so left side of the slide you can observe the how the book see when you kept the book on a normal position see how it is how the force is acting on it and then when we kept the keep kept that uh, when you keep that book on a slide that means little tilted desk how it is moving downwards and where what kind of friction the direction of friction we can also say see here here is the one of the diagram so the motion of the book is downwards but the direction of friction is opposite to that one and which is the book which is kept on a tilted table so which help us to understand in the better manner after observing this picture i hope you have understood the directions of frictional force acting on the book which is kept on the tilted desk okay yes likewise you have to understand and also the factors on which the friction is depends the nature of the surface is in contact that means whether surface is smooth or a rough and how hard the surface is pressed together see observing these two pictures we can observe the nature of the surfaces how the roller has moved long distance on this smooth surface because the less friction is there how the uh, roller is moved on the rough surface and how much of distance it has covered it is due to the surface nature of the surface by these examples you can understand the friction and the factors which affecting the friction in a better manner i hope you can answer after observe you can answer the questions after observing these examples in a better manner all the best thank you